Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So last mission, uh, last episode was an extremely hard mission. We managed to do okay. We killed the guy that we went down to get. We took out the uh, one of his uh, escort lances. But then we lost the Shadowhawk. It took a heavy hit. Well, we didn't lose it. It just um, got cored pretty much and went down. But we do have it here. Pylon got out of the mission with zero injuries. And I was like, how do you lose your mech and get out with zero injuries? But he did. So we're going to refit this guy. Uh, we're going to have to really analyze what we're going to do here because as you can see, we're pretty much starting from scratch. Uh, first thing we got to do is figure out what fusion core is going in this guy. We don't have a mask system anymore. Um, so we have to decide now what we want to do with this guy. We've also got our Wolverine too. So we've got choices. We can either rebuild this guy or we can rebuild the Wolverine. And I'm wondering if it might be just cheaper because this guy needs so much more work. So let's pull out, let's pull everything out of this guy. It's probably going to be cheaper to redo the, to do the Wolverine and then do this guy later. So I'm going to pull all this out for now and confirm this. Right. And once we get the Wolverine starting to work here, uh, we're going to jump systems. I might as well. Uh, so let's repair all. So it's 154,000. And um, so let's first of all start by dropping an engine in this guy. We've got a few down here. Um, we want them to be relatively fast, I think. So a bigger one, I think, is probably the way to go. Um, Let's get our XL gyro, which we had in our other Mac in here. Let's get our um, injury resist cockpit, or do we want to go with the spiked helmet? This gives us plus 10 melee as well, but this guy's generally not going to be meleeing. Let's just go with the regular cockpit. For now, it might change, but we'll see. Definitely want the end of steel. We're definitely going to want the NSS back in this guy. Um, now let's have a look. We, we might we might end up going with heavy heavy fire, fiber fiber yeah heavy ferro, but because this guy's easier to hit, we definitely don't want to be like giving them something easy to target with or target against. So um, we're also going to need a guardian ECM system. So let's drop that in. Now, if we put a TTS ballistic, I want to try that. Ultra 10 build just to see what kind of weight we're looking at here because we have the Ultra 10 we also got an LB 20 X that's 12 tons this is 10 we also got a Goss clan uh, clan Goss rifle as well that's 12 tons so we put the Ultra AC in this arm uh, we're gonna need where's our hands here put hands on both sides so Ultra 10 AC yeah, we still got about 10 tons left, so it's not too bad. So if we do that, um, going to definitely need one more heat sink. So let's put that here. And now we only got ballistic and laser left. We could put a couple of clan ER mediums on. Um, cooling pod for sure. We need ammo. We're gonna at least need at least three tons of ammo. So let's move the heat sink up here. Put the cooling pod in here. Um, Twenty-five percent extra ammo. Eighteen rounds. So it's nine turns. And then another four. So 13 turns of uh, ultra auto cannon firing. So that's a little better. So let's do that. Um, we've also got, we, uh, we need, I need heat sinks though. 
So it would just be this and heat sinks. Got half a ton left over. I could put pull half a well. I could pull half a ton off. See, I mean, we could do this too. We could, if we go the melee route, put a boomstick on one side. Hammer fist on the other. But we don't have a mask. We don't have a really fast engine. You need to be really fast. And this guy just doesn't have the speed. So we really can't do that. What are we at for heat right now? Um, take half a ton off. Spread it out a little bit like this. And then put one more heat sink in, I think. I'm going to leave it as this for now. It's not too bad. 242,000 in 19 days. So let's confirm this. Okay, so let's manage our tasks a bit here. We got two mechs at 19 days. So 23 days. I think that's going to take us past the financial report. No, it's exactly on the financial report. So we're going to need cash. If we go this route, um, let's manage our tasks a bit. We want the Jenner and the Firefly back before the Wolverine. Otherwise, we're selling stuff. So let's bring the Wolverine into the next month. Let's do that. And we'll have our Centurion, our Jenner, and our Firefly back before the end of the next financial report. And we can pull off a mission when we move planets. And that should give us the option to have enough cash for the end of the month. Otherwise, other, you know, other than that, we can just sell an engine. Uh, let's put the Locust for now, since we're not really going to be using this. Let's just put him into the storage. Um, we're going to have to move up one of these other mechs into the main lance. And I think I might bring in the urban mech just to see how it performs. Not sure yet with the NSS on it. Spider's the other option. Going with the two wrecking balls. Spike leg boots. Uh, that's the other thing too. So let's... What's the commando got again? Just medium lasers. Okay, so let's do this. Let's find out where we're going here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to fully get away from where the clans are. I think it's everywhere now, which would be sad, but uh, let's find some place close. 21, 13 days, Mesa Verde, manufacturing mega city. This looks like a good chance, good place to go. Travel hub. Comstar, Black Market, everything cool. So we're going to go here. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Okay, so I'm hoping for a one skull mission when we get there, something that we is relatively easy to do. What I might have to do, because we're running two lances too, heavy and heavy and light, what I might uh, try and do is extend the... Like right now we've got a one skull variant in missions, so whatever our main lance weight is, let's say it's you know, two skull. The lance weight uh, missions will vary between one and three skulls. So I might extend that by a half a skull just so that we can get half skull missions as well as, you know, three and a half skull missions. It'll narrow our ability to be able to get lots of something close to us, but at least it'll open up opportunities for our light lance to be able to start running again. 
Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's visit the store first. I like to be able to see the things I can't buy. Um, that's uh, 10 laser damage plus 5 heat. That's term 6 double. Yeah, there's nothing really here that we want. Okay, so let's have a look at the contracts. Actually, before we do that, let's just get the Centurion back here. Ah, uh, well, Hogweed's not piloting this next next one anyway, so. Alright, so, uh, let's have a look at the contracts. So we need, need to make about 200 and something thousand. So it'll probably be a milk run uh, mission here, hopefully. Once this loads up. And we're able to see what our contracts are. Hopefully it's a milk run somewhere. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Alright. So before <laughs> before we check that out, let's go check our mech warriors out. Still loading. Arrgh. Grinding. Okay. Let's check our pilots here. Alright, cold metal doesn't have enough to do anything with. Havoc, we're going to leave you for now. Hickory, just going to check our main lands here. Pylon, yes, you know what, buddy? I think you'll set out this mission. You're going to wait for the Wolverine. You need some relaxation. Although he does have high spirits for the next three days, so maybe we should bring him with us. He got like he didn't even get injured in the last mission. I couldn't get over that. All right, you got a bit of points here, but we're going to wait. Uh, a recoil, how are we doing here? Do we have enough to go right up? We do. Called shot bonus. Do we want the called shot bonus? We do. Let's confirm that. Excellent. All right, Raider. Yes, All right, we're not doing those guys. We're just doing our main lance. I'm listening. All right, so. Command center, let's have a look at the contracts. Okay, so we have a half skull. Yay, raiding party, Clan Wolf. In brown dropship belonging to Clan Wolf, a local defense forces are expected to drop ill-equipped to handle lance of mechs. Contested will. Abandoned agents. Okay, so let's go after this one. I think we can probably do this. Capture a base. Let's negotiate this sucker. And I think we're going to go in the middle here. 1-7 for 420,000. Well, if we're going to go 1, we might as well go 1-4. And get another 150,000 out of it. Or 130,000. So let's accept that. Do need the cash really badly. Pylon, let's sit this one out, buddy. And since it was probably going to be turrets, let's bring in the urban mech. And who's our best pilot for this one? I should bring in Raider because she is the commander of the second lance. Uh, but the bonus tactics might help out with precision strike. But I think if Raider's the leader of the second lance, let's bring her in. Get some experience for her. Yep, I think that's the way it's going to go. And uh, let's deploy and hope we don't die. Firefly... Why does the Firefly have reduced performance? Well, I don't think it does. Let's just deploy. We had the same bug before, so we're just going to confirm and go. It was like a zero day fix or something. Alright, four mechs on the ground. Ah, uh, we know this map well. Let's just hope we don't have a Lancer guy starting. Yeah, it looks like we just got turrets. So we're going to start by moving in. Not going to reserve. We've only got a certain number of turns to take out the turrets before the uh, enemy comes in. The reinforcements. And if we can kill those turrets fast, then um, we can uh, set up a choke point for the enemy coming in. I think we should be able to do it. Once we get eyes on, I think Hickory should probably be able to smoke most of the turrets from range. Commander. Okay, recoil. Stay in the forest up here if you can, buddy. Roger that. Full speed. I don't see any turrets.
Um. Yep. Okay, I'm getting confused now. Maybe it'll be like a medium lance right. that comes up afterwards. All right. With the urban mech, uh, if you guys have urban mechs, just keep it in the open as long as it possibly can. Because it moves really slow through forest. I'm sure you've experienced it. Um. Good to go. Double time. Modern operational military base to me, which we've just surprised because it has no turrets yeah. and nothing else to defend itself with. Okay, Hickory's going to stay behind recoil, fire over his head. By. Just do your best to get in as fast as you can, please. Actually, I think I might move her over here and set her up as fire support down this way. And you can run screen for her. On the move. Full speed. Yep. Okay, missile bot. Where are we gonna drop you? Right here. Moving to position. Stay in the open. They shouldn't be able to see her there. And the reason why she's in the open is because if you're firing out of trees, you have a plus one hit bonus as well, so you got a better chance to hit if you're not in the trees. I'm receiving you. Okay, let's set this up here before we uh, activate this base here. I can do. Yeah, you can do this. Move we'll right there, buddy. What do you need? Hickory's good. Got it. Venting heat. Metal, let's get down here. Heads up, Commander. Yeah, here they come. Okay, the reason why I'm moving him back as opposed to forward is because I want him to sprint into battle and get maximum uh, evasion. 55 tonner. So this could, this could turn out to be very lucrative. We might be able to pick up a nice engine off this. So we're going to move into here. And we got three vehicles. What do we got here? Kentaro, known for overheating. Let's fire everything straight on him. What? Enemy destroyed. Well, when I said this was a milk run, it most definitely was a milk run. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. uh, no point staying back here now, it's just vehicles. Get up here. We're gonna shoot from this platform. Wow. That's all I have to say for that. Wow. that. I got a heavy vehicle. Okay, we're gonna reserve. We got lots of evasion. Let's let them come to us. Forty-five tonner. Waiting for the right move. Bring up people. Nice shooting, buddy. Nice shooting. Let's make sure we don't get on the dropship platform. I hate to say this, but I want to try and splash the damage across all my mechs. Because in the long run, it's just quicker for them to all to get back rather than having one mech take all the damage. Can I actually get to see that guy? I cannot. Uh, so there's no point in going in really fast. Let's just move to here. Oh, I see. There's a little ridge here that covers that. So this urban mech is way out of position. I'm here. Copy that, Commander. Full sprint! What do you need? Yeah, see, there's like a ridge there.
Understood. Moving fast. Should be able to finish this guy up. Copy that. Yipper. Vehicle track. All right, we're gonna reserve. No problem. Thank goodness for a milk run. It's rare we find stuff this easy. Ready for order. We're gonna get right on these guys. Alright, Raider, full sprint down the road. Let's go. Aha! And here I thought I was gonna have to fight turrets and everything. Yep. Uh yeah, let's not get into that landing zone. Let's get to a point where we can move up on them and just fire. Okay, we're gonna reserve. Ah, uh, should be. Yeah. Let's take active, uh, active attack on these guys. Is that our, that's our turn two guy. Bulldog. What's up, buddy? Don't try and flank. Yes, command. You're gonna get spanked. Alright, see if we can finish this guy up, please. Well, not quite. Commander. Not much you can do. Oh well, he'll get to shoot. Okay, let's finish him up and go home. Well, I certainly needed this. After that last mission, man, I, I really needed this. Thank you. Thank you, RN Jesus. Okay, 500,000. Juicy. Nice. Alright, and no significant damage, which is something I like. I want to check out why... Oh, right, the double heatsink. Ah, that's right. So, uh... Kentaro part, I guess? Oh, we can't take the Kentaro part. Um, we've already got a bonus AC5 on our uh, Urban Mech, so we don't need that. Turn on combustion engine. 250. These are all worth 250, right? It's a little bit of cash. It's like 32,000 or something. So let's take one of these guys. Don't need anything else out of this. Hopefully we get the Kentaro part. Nope. AC5 plus though, so that's kind of a bonus. Okay, 4,000 repairs in a couple days. Nice. We got another 32,000 with the engine that we got. So let's have a look at the tasks. Yep, those are properly ordered. Um, so let's close that. So we can probably pull off another mission. Well, we can't because our pilots are down. And I don't think we've got another one we can do that's easy. Yeah, payroll seizure. One man's art. Built up by coalition agents. So we could probably do this one in the next month. So we've got about 250, 200 and some odd thousand we can start to repair the uh, Phoenix Hawk with. Let's just go to the store real quick. And we're going to sell that internal combustion engine. Just so we have a little extra cash to work with. So where are you buddy? All the way down here I think. I see. 32,000. Sell that. So let's go to um, Mech Bays and have a look. So the Phoenix Hawk is definitely going to be reborn different than what it was. Um, 
Unfortunately, we cannot get it back to the way it was. So uh, let's repair all. 132,000 in four days. So not too bad. So we're not going to have the same speed as we had before, unfortunately. Uh, we use the NSS and the Wolverine, but we can just add regular Pharaoh in this guy. And what kind of engine are we looking at here? Um, we could turn this guy into a melee mech, although it won't be fast enough. Like, even if we put a 255 core in, what's the speed here? 235, 10 hex is not very far. So, if we go my, more fire support again. This is what? 230. Still 10 hex with this one. It's a lighter engine, too. So, we're going to go this route. Uh, let's see here. Got two hands left. Let's drop those in. Uh, what else? Let's go with our pirate cockpit. And what else do we have here? Anything we want to add? Nothing I don't think here for now. So now we're into weapon systems. We Why do we have so much tonnage left? Oh, because we have no armor. <laughs> that would be the reason why. Let's max out the armor. All right. Let's start into weapons now. Well, first of all, we need to put a couple more heat sinks in this guy, right? We need two more. Correct? Yeah. Put those in the legs. And weapon systems, lasers, because all we can carry is lasers. And four of them, and it doesn't look like we have much to add, unfortunately. So if we go four medium lasers, we don't really have anything big here. Equipment-wise, see, 219,000. We've still got about, yeah, we can't really buy anything, though. Um... And we lost having that uh, medium laser, or that small laser in the center torso. Damn, that was nice. So, still got so much tonnage left. Let's go with the bigger engine. Go with the TTS plus energy. So we really don't need the Pharaoh or Ender Steel on this guy. But even then it's like just adding four tons of medium lasers and some heat sinks. It's not really gonna be uh Although this guy could turn into the commander of the um Wonder This guy could turn into the commander of our uh Light Lance, too. Once we get better weaponry for the arms. Uh, let's see here. And this guy's poor, really, really poor choice for a melee mech because it's got no support hard points on it, too, right? So, like, once we add a couple of heat sinks, we're like <laughs> super heat efficient. Let's go, um, do we sell the Locust? Do we sell the Locust and buy that large laser? So, weapons, the large laser double plus, plus 10 damage. I think we probably do that. 154,000, so let's buy it. I don't know. I'm not going to sell the Locust. I'm just saying that because I'm just getting frustrated here. Uh, so let's do that. And large laser goes in. Heat efficiency is dropping majorly. Um, so if we add... Where's our heat sinks here? One, two... Three more heat sinks. See, now we can put the endo steel and maybe even the heavy pharaoh in. And we can crank up the uh, heat sinks, which we need to buy more of now. Um, 
We're going to need to sell something. Yeah, we could uh, put in another medium and then buy three heat sinks. So, equipment. God, I hate buying heat sinks. Like one of the things you usually get a fair bit of on the on the battlefield here. One, two, three. So what's our heat efficiency here? Yeah, so if we cycle out one medium laser, we could do that a fair bit, I think. And let's go with this. We'll use this guy as the leader of our uh, late lance, I think, for now. Wolverine's going to be replacing the upper lance. So let's confirm this. 31 days, 228,000. we got to get it up and running. So we're down... Another 100,000 or so, so let's go to the store real quick. And got to go to sell. So let's go down. We could sell the Locust for 177, but I think we want to hang on to that just for now. Let's sell. We got one fusion core left. Let's sell that. That'll solve our problem work on getting fusion cores in the next few missions. So if we manage our tasks here, Phoenix Hawk is at the very end of the task tree here. So maybe we go, we need the Wolverine back. So we go Wolverine, Centurion, Firefly. So five days we'll have these guys back and be ready to take another mission. It will put us past the financial report, but we're okay until then. And yeah, because in five days our pilots are back. So that's good timing, I think. Phoenix Hawk back at the end of next month. Or end of, yeah, end of next month. It'll be back. So that's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to leave the episode here. Hope you liked it. It was a really, it was a milk run episode, but we did need some kind of dis, uh, decharge time after that last episode, which was particularly devastating. When we come back, we'll have these guys uh, repaired and ready to go, and we'll jump right into another mission. And until next time, well, if you liked the video, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.